everyone, this is Miami Den Mother of EQ2 Traders Corner again. And this is the eighth and final quest in the Reign of Shadows trade skill signature line for EverQuest 2. The quest is called The Dark Side of the Dark Side. And it picks up right where a noblement of penitence left off. You went to calibrate a device and instead of calibrating it you got pulled into somewhere that looks really scary like epic x4 raid mob sort of scary and you need to blow your signaling horn from noonian so i have to find out where it dropped in my bags there it is and i also want to show you the final reward from a nobleman of penitence which is something called a wall of nope Looks like it's just some webs, but when you stand right next to it and click nope on it, and when you do a right click, it burns through the web. You can then, it dis the web disappears. You can walk through where it stood. And then after a few moments, the web will reappear and it's once more again solid. So that's a silly little thing, but let's blow the signal horn, which isn't going quite have the reaction you wanted. You were trying to signal Noonien and ask for help, and suddenly these sentries are a little unhappy with you. In theory, it's supposed to teleport me. There we go. It teleported me to in front of Zerkis, the creator. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Anyway, he summons me in, starts babbling, and then he turns away to, to gripe at someone. And while he's doing that, you blow the horn again and hope and pray. And there's Noonie, and he might be a bit of a blowhard and everything. He may have gotten Benash Iron Sprocket dead in, in, in Blood of Lupland, but he's come through now. He and his team are there, and you can run away, run away, run away, run bravely away. So you're out. You go talk to Nuni and make sure he and his team got out safely. Holy McGillicuddy, did you see that thing? How many arms did it have? That's total overkill. He could hold four ales. Yes, we're going to talk about ales, but that's not a safe portal to leave up. So he's going to have you make explosives. Yeah, that's going to go over well. But the other nice thing, look at this. Once you come out of Vexthal, which is where you got teleported into, you can fly. That will make harvesting so much easier for this next quest. So you can peekaboo around. There's a lot of people on this quest line right now. I've, I've been tripping over them all over. So I'm not seeing anything really close. That's okay. I'm going to fly around. I'm going to do the harvesting. I will need 120 humming azurite, 120 slow creeping roots, 120 leucocyte cl clusters, and 120 hardened zelniac pelts. They need to come from this zone. So be aware of that. I will be back once I've finished all the harvesting. And I'm back. I've done all the harvesting. And I headed back to Ninian's camp. I could have used the... Um, Will of the Shade, Port Bobble, but instead I just flew back since I've remembered it well enough. And now I need to craft the explosives. It says that I need to make 12. Each co combine makes six, but I will tell you now that there are actually four combines because once you make, make the first 12, it says make 12 more just in case. Now, I'm going to stop talking in a moment, but I'm going to keep the recording running so that you can see some of the events that will happen. Because what happened to me has happened to others as well, is you learn that this combine will kill you, and so you're nice and focused and intent, and suddenly you see the event name that is popping up on your screen. Squirrel! 
or brain flatulence or fell asleep or something like that and you're going to start laughing and you're going to die because you're laughing too hard. So I'm warning you now, the six events are rather silly and they're amusing and they're distracting and you don't want to be distracted at the wrong time. Uh, I don't really have to go through the ingredients right now other than to tell you that you're going to need um, 20 coal for the, the whole combined thing. The rest of these are just using up the resources that you just harvested. So the 120 divided by four is 30 a piece for each combined. So here we go. Go ahead and watch the screen, watch the, the names of the events. They're kind of amusing. And away we go. And there we go. And now I can tell you what the others are. There was also a sudden spark. Then there's the squirrel. There's the butter fingers. There's the thermal accident. The brain flatulence. And the cop sleeping. There you go. I'm going to pause this now. I'm going to do the other three combines and then I will be back should also mention that with those killer combines, you can also hit the stop button while you're in mid combine if you realize that you miss a counter and save yourself some dying, but it'll cost you a lot in resources. So once you have finished that, you need to go back down this messy little path, click to place the explosives, all nice and stacked up. Remember that you can fly suddenly and fly back up. Okay, I can get my Merc gone now because I'm not going to go through any more aggro. Instead, I'm going to chat with Noonien and then let him do the honors of blowing it up. And there it goes. That portal is gone. We'll keep people from wandering through it by accident. Speak to Ninian one more time. And he wants you to go talk to Hulda. At this point, you do not, have, oops, before I go, you do not have to return here for anything quest-wise, but if you want, Noonien will be available to hire as a Merc after you're all done. And this vent, fuel vendor here does have more of the Call of the Shade. So you can do that, you can pick up some more of those if you need them to make it easier to come out here for harvesting or whatever once you're doing um, researcher missions. But you're almost done. All you have to do now is hand in the quest and you are finished with the signature line. Provided the zone server actually responds, of course. If it takes too long, I will pause, but it looks like it's gonna load now. So back we go to the Nexus area of Fort El Mist. And from there, we will go to the Bazaar. So north we go. Into the Bazaar. Then 
to the northern hallway. Just past the paintings, into the tunnel. And there you go. Hello, Hulda. So if you give her an update on what just happened, including going into Vexthal. And you earn the mercenary contract, which it looks like they did fix. It is now fabled and stuck treasured. So that's good. You will get a Sacred Manta house pet. Sparkly. And you will have earned the achievement, The Long Dark, which comes with some status, as well as a prestige achievement, which gives you a Guild Advancement token. And I'll let others explain about the Guild Advancement tokens, but I leave this on the screen for a moment so you can pause it and read all that information as well. Basically, I just helped level the Guild above 300, and these little tokens will give me an extra boost to my Guild buff. And you can use up to five of them. And there we go. I heard the Zwoop. Our Guild is now level 340 out of 350, which is nice. I could go back and hire Noonien now. I don't feel like it, so I won't. But since we're right here, I'll show you. Now we have happy green feathers on Purini and on Gundeg. And those are for research quests that I can now do. I can do research requisitions there. I can do research requisitions in Echo Caverns from a little Ratanga next to Piccolo. And I can do ones from, oh, what's her name? I just lost her name. Out in the Savage Wield. Or Donnie. She also has reaper, resource, resource, research requisitions. And yes, I've done too much talking today. And these headphones are heavier and heavier by the hour. So I think we're going to call it done. I hope that this set of videos has helped you figure out how to get through the trade skill line. There's a lot of fun little sly bits of humor in there. And it really is a rather enjoyable line. Thanks for tuning in. Bye-bye.